I'm gonna let it rip from here for a minute. Enjoy this part. I'm gonna slow it down actually. Uh, I'm gonna go to the slowest speed. I'm running at 1080p. That's the highest it will let me run it. So you guys, I'm pumping it in at 1080p. Okay. Let's go widescreen. Now I got that on slow motion. I'm actually watching it on your side. <laughs> what is sex? What are you guys talking about over here? Hey, Sarah, Dippity, Dippity, Anthony, how you doing? Robin, how you doing? Welcome all you new subs and the people that have never been here before. This is a shout out video and I don't know which direction I'm going to take it in, in a minute. I got a lot of videos I could show, a lot of footage. Um, shouting out our skies today. Thank you, Shining, for guarding the door. Shining's my moderator tonight. Um, I think Garrison's been really busy with the family, so that's good. Anybody want to become a a uh, moderator, email me at kafitv18 at gmail.com. So anyways, this is a beautiful uh, sun rock. I'm just trying to get a better view. That's the size I got my screen at, right? Watch this. Doesn't want to give me anything bigger than that, so let's go with that. That's uh slow mo seven eighty p beautiful though our skies today go sign up whenever he gets something live you better subscribe he puts a lot of stuff up now because the skies are just exploding I mean he'll put a piece out like this and get like six hundred seven hundred views um. Now, the reason I'm even getting the views I'm getting is I'm using Facebook a lot. But look at this, uh, like a Y, B kind of tail. The white thing in the middle is just not right. It could be a moon. It could be the lead object from um, the whole planet X system. The red clouds split up like this could be the tail of a lot of meteors coming in from the OCG, the um, obstacle cluster group. We've got this thing. See how they run off? This white thing, I guess, white object could be the lead object, folks. I don't know. And I'm just kind of hoping it is. That's what I'm narrating, right? And, you know, this is the sun, let's say, the yellow. Oh, see this big white over here? Kind of the big white. That could be our two. Coming up on to this giant moon. The reason I put this on slow mo is it's, it's a really good thing to watch for a minute. You guys, shout that out. Now, I don't know. Let me look up see if I can find the date for this. Um, we'll figure it out. I'll figure it out in a minute. I don't want to interrupt it. Man, that's awesome, Russ. Now, this is my computer runs high definition R uh, with the, the video card I have now. My new computer, it actually brings up whatever I'm watching a notch. It actually brings it up to a higher quality, higher definition quality. So on my old computer, this thing don't look so great. But on my new computer, it looks pretty bright, looks pretty brilliant. It almost looks like filtered. But you can see... You know, right here, folks, you could see the blue, turquoise, bluish, different than the blue down the skies down here, like the normal skies by the edge of the building here. Now, right here could be that lead object just filling the sky up right in there. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Let's go half speed. 
That's what that's like. Yeah. Go Russ. I think I think he might have shared this from Roger Paul. I'm not sure if he shared it from somebody, but if anybody knows Russ, you know. That's amazing, Russ. Wow. Check that out, people. That is amazing. You can feel that sky. So, I don't see anybody tagging any kind of video on there. They want to shout out. But if you guys want to shout out a video, give me the link, and I'll pop it up. And we'll look at some of your stuff. You got a playlist, we'll look at a bunch of your stuff, you know. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. No COVID virus here. <clears throat> so one of the things I want to do right now is I want to pray over all you folks that are in here. Um, it's 26, but on the on the YouTube, buddy, it shows about 45 people watching in here right now. So I don't get accurate readings from uh, YouTube, but the YouTube buddy I use, I do. Um, so, Father, I just ask right now in Jesus' name, I come to you and ask that you put a hedge of protection, total protection on every soul. And one John shining, another angel. Um, everybody down here, Debs, I'm just looking, Robin. I just pray over them, protection, a hedge. Bob, I pray over him. Dennis, I pray over you. Welcome, Dennis, welcome. I pray over Shining. I always pray over Shining. He's always here. Garrison, I pray over you. I'm just going through Gil, I pray over you. So, Father, I pray over all these people. If I miss anybody, I pray over Maddie. I just pray for protection from the COVID-19. I pray from the, the fear. I bind the fear, and I command it to go right now. And I speak peace. Even like this piano is playing. I pray over Dennis too, Father. I pray over all you guys for life, protection. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord and Him and God will I trust. Not no vaccine. I trust in God, folks. And I pray right now that you guys just be tucked away in God's arm in the shadow, right up in His armpit in God's armpit of glory and uh, be protected in Jesus name and healed. If you're starting to get it, it's bound. Whatever you think you're starting to get, head cold or whatever, and you're hoping it's not COVID-19 coronavirus virus, I bind it right now. You're not going to get it. Blow your nose, rebuke it in Jesus name and do some worship. Ha <laughs> ha! That's my remedy. Dr. Chris. So remedy today is worship Call in the name of Jesus and be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Rick. See, so guys, man, put scriptures up. You know, we're a Christian channel. You know, we welcome everybody. I mean, from those who are ascending to uh, UFO people, all these guys that they want to see them too, you know. We're waiting on Jesus, but we'll get to see this while we're waiting. I mean, God didn't make it boring, people. Come on. Give him some glory. Look at that. I mean, and how many lifetimes have you seen that sky yet that Russ showed from our skies today? Shout out to Russ. I wish Russ would show up. I'm looking for him. I'm not looking at you guys' chat. I'm looking through all the chats. I'm speed chatting, talking. And then you guys, you take authority over that COVID. Don't be putting up with that. The word COVID comes from the Greek word coronas. Cronus was the daughter, the daughter of the mythology, whatever, demon mythology uh, of Athenius. Anyways, child of death, destruction, representing the black crow, that darkness. And I just take authority over it. It's just a demon that's been released because the black horse is riding and the pestilence is flowing because that's what the black horse brought, right? So, okay. But I have a hard time. If we're rebuking the black horse and, and God's released the horses, all in. I don't know if we can rebuke it. Would it have any power? I, I think we could protect one another in prayer, right? Okay. Check that out, Russ. What you what you saying? Your skies don't look great. That's booyah. Look at that sky, folks. 
planet X on top, sun on bottom, white planet on the left of the sun. It's probably more coming, too. I like this in slow motion, though. With that piano. Uh, it's denial. Ellen, you know what Jesus said, Ellen? Jesus said, some will never see <laughs> if they don't believe. But he also said, like he said, um, a wicked and a perverse generation seeks a sign, but they can't see it. The only sign I'm going to show them is a sign of Jonas, which was in the belly of the well for three days. And like the son of man, Jesus Christ, sent from God as a sacrifice, was in the belly of the earth for three days. And then he rose from the dead this week. <laughs> Resurrection week. Resurrection, yeah. Re resurrection week. We get it right. Stumbled on my own tongue. But that, that's perfect to show for resurrection right there. So you know, got on a little rant there. Hey, a little preach rant. Anyways, I like these guys for. Uh, I don't like to use the word Easter. I'm not really into the the whole symbolic thing of Easter and the goddess of Esther and fertility and the bunny rabbit. I'm not into that scene at all. False doctrine, as far as I'm concerned, I won't argue about it. But anyways, people like it. More power to them. Romans 14, they're only fully persuaded in their own mind. But I do believe in the resurrection of God every day. But I like resurrection week because I think about Jesus like 10 times more. And I get like 10 times more excited about the same spirit that was in Jesus is in my body. And it raised them from the dead, and it could quicken me from that stupid COVID virus. We're not supposed to. You could take this up to 1080p. That's what I got it on, 1080p. Okay. That's some freaky stuff. So happy resurrection, Passover week, folks. I love you. Did you hear my shofars go off in the last couple videos? One of the last videos. Yeah. Thank you, Linda. That Was that for me, Linda? <laughs> Check out that. What are you what are you showing, Russ? I don't have Russ on there live, guys, but if anybody knows Russ, you know, let's keep saying send him because he's been waiting for this shout out. He'll show up once in a while and say, Chris, show my stuff. He'll show up on a chat. Chris, show my stuff. So here we go, Russ. I wish you were here. One John, I'd be like dead. I'd be like a piece of, I'd be like a piece of Popeye's chicken if you put a nap in my phone and fries me every time I miss a text. I must miss 15 texts a day. You know why? I'm hanging out with the king. I wasn't thinking about it. Sorry, but you know I'm not sorry about hanging out with the king. I love hanging out with the king. You know, I'm I'm totally committed to Jesus. I'm totally fruitcakes for Jesus. I got my page so small I can't even see my own my own chat. It's good guys. I like uh, Russ's skies here. Got a little lag time on that. Okay, let's see what I can find, guys. Let's see what I can find. All right, I'm gonna shrink the page. No. Nope. Check that out. What in the world? That not gnarly. Rush should have got 1,500 hits on that the first day. Right there. 1,500 hits on that. Easy, Russ. Come on. Somebody shout that out. That's insane looking. Amen, Alan. Amen. I can't live without Jesus. I wouldn't have to wake up. It's hard enough to wake up with Jesus. Imagine walking, waking up without Jesus. Yeah, I get smacked down with the a fireball from heaven. I think we're going to see him pretty cool. Pretty soon. And they're not going to be cool. I mean, um, okay, guys. So as soon as my sky stopped raining, I'm going to get my telescope lenses that I ordered from Amazon in the mail. I got one that's a 190, no, 196 degree 
widescreen, um, macro. And so I'm going to turn my 4K phone into like high dollar, you know, high dollar camera, real camera. Anyways, Russ, you overdid this guy. Right here, beautiful, Russ. Beautiful. Look at that. Sneaky little planets in there, little suns, little dogs. Amen, angel. It's called the grace of God. I mean, you know, the scriptures say that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, right? So in Christ Jesus, in him, in his word, in prayer, in a relationship with Christ Jesus, you are the righteousness of God. Now, even when you step out, knowingly or unknowing, you still are. But you just got to take that position again. You got to say, I am the righteousness of God. And there's no condemnation of shame. That's why Jesus died. That's why his blood was spilled. So you could say that. You could say, God, receive me back. I blew it. I messed up, you know, and Jesus would be like, I know. That's why I came. That's why I decided to die in the garden. I drank the cup, you know. Remember, he drank the cup in the garden. And so, you know, you guys will start hearing me. I'm kind of pleading with some of you to, you know, bow your knee to Jesus. And I know some of you are secretively bowing your knee to Jesus. But, you know, I don't care if it's secretively. Eventually, you're going to tell somebody. Um but you keep coming back. You keep hearing the same message. Jesus loves you. You know, don't wait for the second that like the rapture comes and you think I mean, like the rapture comes. You know, it's the rapture because you've been hearing me talk about it. And then, boom, it's too late. You're here for hell. You know, this is just some pretty pictures of the sky that look demonic, that look unreal. Like here, this looks like second sun right there, Russ. But, you know, folks, this is really happening. That's why I want to show you Russ's pictures because they're just so sobering this right here. Uh, let's see what else we can find. So, repent means to change your mind about God. It's not like a um, secret handshake or nothing. Everybody can do it. Five seconds. So, when I say repent, I always say change your mind about God. Like, believe what he did for you. Jesus says you're not going to be able to meet him without faith anyways. You have to believe in your heart. The best with your mouth. So, here we go. Back into Russ's next one. I guess these crazy yellow skies, too. I'm just jumping ahead. Okay, I'm going to jump on his playlist here. So I did this video really, um, really for Russ just to give him a boost on his channel and, uh, you know, help a bro out. <laughs> help a bro. <laughs> You know, he says, this is, his this is his enhanced work, people. Get ready. This is all Kevin McCloy. I don't know if he's a Christian or not, but I have a suspicion that he is. Check out his enhanced skies on our skies today. And one of my comments got mad because all I'm showing is skies. Well, I mean, that's what I show. Um, yeah, I could get planets. I could do planets like 500 right now, but I just want to see the sky in the planets and how it all looks together. Right, Like right there, guys. That's a planet right there. Something. Moon. Planet. He enhanced it. I like it. I like it. It looks scary like that. You know, <laughs> it's mystical looking. Good one, Russ. Good one. Amen, amen, Alan. So when I say amen, guys, it's not like a religion. I say amen is the same thing as saying hola, like hello. Um, but what it means to me, amen, means so be it. So, you know, like John Lennon wrote a song, let it be, let it be, so be it, so be it, let it be. And I don't believe in what it is is what it is. No, I don't believe in that stuff. I believe in you praying and changing circumstances. So I don't believe what it is is what it is. But I believe, like, when someone says something that's life, let it be. Let it be over me. Amen. I take that. I receive that, God. That's what my amen means. It means, yeah, come on. 
do it, Lord. Do it, Jesus. You died for me so I could have a better life. You died for me so my friends could live. So I'll just kind of do a little rant for each. <laughs> it's like Sunday today. I don't know why. It's like Sunday yesterday. I don't know why. <laughs> so when someone asks me, what God do you serve? You know, because people say, well, Allah is the same as our God. And I say, no, you know, well, you have the same Quran and all that. And we have the Torah and it's the same. And we could show you. Nope. I serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's my final word on that that's the correct god of the god i serve um the rest of that's been blended a lot on their quran and whatever i don't mean me offensive but i serve the god of abraham isaac and jacob and that's like the seal of like the true living god on my ancestors you know david daniel everybody you know i'm just a brother from another mother angel another angel just a brother from another mother same daddy, Father God, Abba, my father. And people ask me, do you really believe Jesus speaks to you like that, Chris? Huh? Well, I do. Absolutely. I have a relationship. I know his voice. See, like right now, I believe that I'm on here because, um, you know, he's saying, like, show, show Russ's stuff. Bless your brother, Russ. Look at that, guys. Woo! Check it out. I'm like, gotta like that. But I bless my brother. At the same time, I get to tell you about my friend Jesus. But, you know, I never try to get too obnoxious. I'm just so excited about Jesus. I can't help but tell you about him. Come on, people. I can't help but tell you about, you know, right there. Check that out. I'm excited about showing you that right there. Look at that. Oh, baby. Go, Russ. That was a bad. That one was bad to the bomb. Bam. As as Malibu would say, bam on that one. Come on. Big red orb. Big red planet. Got Jesus on that one, Russ? I do. Look at that hole in the middle, guys. Right there. See that hole in the middle? Dark star, right? The red planet. So, you know, my channel, it's, it's like swan swapping bait but it's not really because i'm not selling you nothing i don't get a lot of tips i mean i make about a thousand dollars i think last year i made a thousand dollars total on youtube and if you did the hourly wage i think i was making like 0 0.002 cents a video but it didn't matter because i did it because uh, the lord told me to do it or jesus told me to do it i heard him tell me to do it and he says i want you to encourage these people some afraid some of them don't know what they're going to do and some of them believe lies and they know they believe in lies so he says, you go tell them the truth. I love them. I'm waiting for them. And uh, you just keep inviting them. Even if they get mad at you, just keep inviting them. I guy get mad at me the other day on a, on a comment. He's mad because he's mad about hearing me rant about Jesus. Well, I don't apologize for ranting about Jesus. You know, and I love every one of you guys. I don't want to see one of you guys unsubscribe at all, right? But I, what I do want to ask you is meet my friend Jesus, you know? And if it makes you mad, forgive me. But I, I don't apologize for saying Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I don't. Um, because it's, it's not a religion, it's a relationship. Look, let me just show you this. I'll show what I mean. Show you what I mean. God, you know, come on, Russ. What happened? It's supposed to be keeping up. Oh, I want you to see this. So, my show's a little different, people, but you know, something I don't, I had to get used to this. I don't apologize for, you know, see for an all channel or. And so out of my vision of having the wormwood vision, I'm into all this stuff. I didn't believe in UFOs. I believed in Ezekiel 10. Wilt in the wheel is like a UFO. I believe that was true. Now I believe that was a UFO. And I believe God was using a UFO. Yeah. That looks pretty creepy right there, right, guys? I mean, I like it. And I like it a lot. No weapon angel formed against you will prosper and every mouth that rises up in condemnation or against you I condemn in Jesus name. See God's given us power To help each other And so a lot of us, you know on the internet you see a lot of Christians running around bad-mouthing people too. They need to get over their religion get back into the relationship with Jesus 
when Jesus said, like, return to me, he wasn't rebuking you like, you know, you wasn't with me, but return to your first love or your first thing, the first deed that you did. The first thing you did when you met Jesus was you believed him. You believed that he was a savior. What you did was you confessed him because you believed in your heart. And you said, no, this is real. So that was the first deed you did. So again, return to him and confess him as Lord. That's your first deed. And then return to him and fall in love where it's like I'm running down the street telling everybody about my new girlfriend because I'm so excited about Jesus. So that's my message today, guys. Return to your first love. Great skies. Uh, our skies today. That is some creepy looking demonic stuff there. Whoa. What in the world? So a little heart to heart. What's this? Thursday night. So you guys feel safe here, you know, subscribe if you didn't, uh, take it in, listen to it, you know, and I'm going to show everything. I don't care. And I'll say whatever God tells me to say, coronavirus, Trump, Obama. I don't really get political because it doesn't mix with the uh, Holy Spirit's like oil and the government's like a vinegar. So it's like salad dressing, right? But the, the vinegar don't go with God. It just don't mix it's like poly political stuff and god issues god issues can't be put in the same box with the political stuff it's just too much higher too much higher reality oh look at this guys purple skies so you guys go over to our skies today and you give them a like and a, sh a thumbs up and tell them chris is talking all kinds of good stuff about them <laughs> amen angel well thank you angel for joining my channel and these strong believers like you guys there you go Big blue never coming through. Enhance the course. That's enhanced with the filter. It is. But it's just enhanced.